Well, we're back again, and now I'm going to ask some detailed questions. And basically, I want to start out with the youngsters. Is there an age limitation or any criteria that you must abide by? Uh, I know you're a, a national affiliated organization, so they have rules and regulations mm -hmm. you have to abide mm -hmm. by, uh, and you probably turn reports into them constantly. Uh, but, but for these youngsters, yeah. what, what determines that they're qualified? Well, most of the kids that we serve uh, do tend to come from single parent households. That's not necessarily okay. a requirement. We see all kinds of variations on that. We see kids being raised by grandparents, uh, other guardianship arrangements. Sometimes uh, a lot of families are different. There's lots of different circumstances, but most t do tend to fall into a, some sort of a single parent or, or other guardianship arrangement. I never thought about it, being raised by grandparents, because grandparents can be in their 70s. They exactly. don't have the mobility and energy to take these youngsters out to go to Michigan Adventureland, yes. for example, mm -hmm. why would they want to go there? <laughs> or, or to do other things that a younger person could, could more readily do. Absolutely. Exactly. It's difficult for grandparents, especially in that kind of a situation. Never thought about so that. A lot of times, and, and they, often they come to us and looking for a little bit of uh, help, a little bit of adult support, again, to put into that child's life that they can take them out and do things with. Ages are, uh, we, can, we can enroll kids from the ages of 5 to 12 into the program. Okay. So we, we, uh, at that point, um, we also have a, uh, we don't like to use the word waiting list, but we call it our matchable list. Kids who are enrolled but still waiting for a mentor because often, sometimes, well, most of the time actually, uh, we're always looking for, for mentors and we're not always able to match these kids up right away. So sometimes they wait for a while. Um, and they can be on that uh, that matchable list until the age of 15. So you may have 10 youngsters waiting for a mentor, and you may have 10 mentors, but you can't make a match. Which, right. Exactly, which is a very because good point. That, that's very important, and yes. I didn't realize yes. how important that was. It's just that you Extraordinarily. just can't, can't yes. pick Big Joe to work with Little Joe. No, because they have to have similar interest, and there there has to be proximity. If somebody oh. lives 20 or 25 miles it's away, not it's not going yeah. to work because they won't okay. see each other as often. Okay. I, that's great. I, you know, I don't think a lot of people realize it. We know what Big Brother, yeah. Big Sister yeah. is, but this is the stuff that mm -hmm. is a, more valuable. There's a perception that, yeah, you can take the first volunteer in, the first child, match them up. We put a lot of work into that. We have what's called on staff an enrollment specialist who interviews the, uh, the, the children and the parents, uh, kind of gets an idea of their personality, what... Uh, areas of their their growth that they need to develop and what kind of things that uh, a potential big brother or big sister might be able to help them with interviews as well the big brothers and big sisters um, to enroll into the program and then makes the best possible matches and so you need a, a kind of a, a pool of volunteers to pull from that are close that have you know similar interests and we look at all those kinds of things and uh, now, for make the up a good match and I can see the 5 to 12. Because under 5, they're basically at home raised by mother yet, and mm -hmm. they're changing mm -hmm. the diapers and learning mm -hmm. how to do little projects around the house. 5 to 12, that's when they're learning the world around them. Right. So they're very, up. very brain stimulating. Yes, exactly. And that's when a, a, an adult in their lives can make a huge, a mentor can make a huge difference in the lives of these kids. And, and the, the impacts that we see that are made at a young age continue on into adulthood. And that's the really amazing part of the program. I just want to say also, too, that uh, while we'll match the kids at a fairly young age, once they're matched, those matches are open-ended. It's, uh, it's not a, uh, uh, you know, a... The affiliation of Big Brothers Be System we staff at 12, but it, that mentor well, at well, no, actually may stay forever? Actually, no. It actually, stops at 18. At 18. We oh, continue. 18. Okay. Yeah, we keep matches open as long as, uh, as long as both sides are agreeable and everything works. Um, up until age 18, at which point uh, they age or, up. Or graduation, or graduation from high school. Or graduation. Okay, okay. And See, what we can understand, it, and that, that can be a big thing, graduation, because now yes. this youngster, be a boy or a girl, can have both families come and pat them on the back. Oh, yes. And, Absolutely. And say, Marion can, can <laughs> we be just do it. Right now. it. It was, just did that. It was amazing to yeah. watch. Yeah. Oh, uh. oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Those, uh, and those matches basically remain friends for life when, when they go that long. I mean, that's mm -hmm. an amazing, wonderful How thing. How do you find the people that have a need for a mentor for their youngsters? They find us. They f okay, okay. But that's how you're known, and that's what we're trying to do here. So right. anybody's watching that understands that there's a need, contact this place? Absolutely. In the phone Absolutely. book. In the phone book. 231-798-1391. 
Also, okay. well, also, there's two Big Brothers listed in the phone. Big Brothers, Big Sisters listed in the phone book when I looked it up. I think there was Hugh, and then there was another one that's probably farther out. Could be. I'm yeah. not sure. It could be overlapping with another local agency. That's, in that, that's coverage what I think, but make sure we get yes. Big Brothers, Big you Sisters can, of West Michigan. You can also check this out. Shore. Yeah. On the Lake Shore. I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, I stand corrected all the time. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And our website, too, is um, www.bbbslakeshore.org. And big so that, brothers, that will big come sisters. B-B-B-S. That's easy. Lakeshore.org. Okay. Yep. And you can mm -hmm. check us out there and contact us that way, too. So. Okay. Well, you know, I think we're going to take another break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk about mentoring and how you can be one and what the impact it has on the mentors. Absolutely. <sighs> Wonderful. West Michigan, we'll be back.